The Free State Women's Rugby Association, in partnership with Free State Rugby, recently welcomed girls from all over the province to an open day at the Old Grace Sport Field to share knowledge and to ignite the passion of playing and enjoying rugby. Today we are at the Old Grey's uh, Rugby Fields enjoying the very first Women's Rugby Open Day. Now the aim for this day is to grow female rugby participation as well as the fan engagement. This is to try to popularize the rugby amongst the women counterparts. We know that rugby is a male dominated arena so we would like our ladies to also come and take part in rugby and enjoy it irrespective of the fact that they could be mothers aunties and so forth it should actually feel more like a family day firstly it's a great opportunity for open learning group to be involved with the cheetahs union and today we're here participating in the uh, free state women's rugby and from our side we've entered into an agreement with the uh, with the cheetahs to provide learning opportunities so we have a variety of programs and the plan would be that eventually all the girls playing here today will be able to further careers and to start careers and um, to not just play rugby but to actually build a future for themselves after they've played. I think yeah, after, after the World Cup and even the cricket that's been happening lately, the, the women's cricket that went so well, I think women's rugby is going to grow for the free state and in general it's growing actually rapidly a lot. So I think it's going to get even bigger now with us promoting it in the free state and actually all over South Africa it's getting promoted quite well. Since I've stopped playing rugby, by the way, I have 64 caps, I played for 13 years. <laughs> so since I've stopped playing rugby, I see there's more improvement and there are more promotional events and there are more tournaments. We have lots of ladies from under 10 years up until the senior team. So rugby has actually grown in the free state and we're hoping to get more ladies involved. And yeah, the league will be starting in, and the skills also has improved. And what's nice is in the free state, we have like three Springbok ladies. They're professional now. So we are hoping to get more Springbok um, ladies players from the free state team. Well, I practice at Collegiate Club. I'm still too young to play for them. I need to be 19, but I'm practicing there under Coach Marlies and Coach Wayne and from of the experienced players like Zippy and them. So I'm learning a lot from them. We play tag rugby, so you have straps on and then you need to pull off the strap and then it's a touch. And it was the women's against the men's. You can see that the men's, they have a lot of background from grade one that they played with. And the women's, you can see they have a lot of passion to play. And they still need, everyone still needs a lot to learn. And we learn from each other and we just play for fun and we play for each other. For girls and ladies to play rugby in the free state, we have a pathway that they can follow. The age groups of seven, eight to nine, they have the foundation phase and all of it is non-contact. The programs that's in place for them is the Saru uh, Get Into Rugby as well as the Supersport Let's Play competition. When they age out of that, that will be now from the ages of uh, 10 to 13, they play in a primary school league. Um, this is full contact rugby. After that, in the high schools, we'll, which will be between the ages of 14 and 18, we have high school leagues, um, which is also full contact. And then out of that under 16 and uh, under 18 groups, we select a free state provincial under 16 and uh, under 18 group. These two teams will compete in the South African Union Youth Weeks for, lady, for girls under 16 and, and under 18. And that is an annual competition. And then after that, obviously, it's the senior level. If they play good enough and the selectors see them, they, they might be invited to the national training camps out of which the women's Springbok team will be selected. So the pathway for a girl, there's a lot of activities, there's a lot of teams, there's a, quite a few provincial teams that they can be selected for in order to progress to play for the Springboks at some stage in their life. Yeah, I've been playing rugby for 12 to 13 years, so definitely it's been growing. Where I started, rugby was not really a lot of players. We had to actually go and beg players to come and play. We had to go and get players from athletics and wherever. Now you don't have to beg players to come and play. There's actually quite a lot of players coming. And I think um, that's kind of a great thing, seeing that women is actually having this power of saying, you know what, we're standing up for this and we're growing. We're going somewhere in life. 
Ons het baie dankie vir die geleentheid, so dat, dat ons vandag hier kon wees en hier kon speel. Dus rarig, ons het baie dankbaar daarvoor. Ons het, ons het, het baie, bitter baie geniet en die prijs is ook ongeluk. Ach, en die prijs is ook ongeluk. I would like to thank the Women's Rugby Association for, you know, supporting each other. The Cheetah Chase team, um, the marketing team at the Cheetahs. I'd also like to thank the PRO team, the male senior team, the UXI team. Open Learning is also here. All the clubs that are taking part and engaging with everybody that is here and everyone that have, I might have forgotten to mention, trust me, you are very important to us. Thank you very much. Oh, no,